We're just doing some pier fishing, looking for blowfish or puffer fish today. Specifically looking for them. Uh, if we're lucky, there'll be some kingfish. They're about two, but they are just littered out there. I got a couple of fishing rods. The one. I don't know if he's it. That was a that was a double. They're just littered on the bottom. So we're gonna be fishing through. Oh. Those little guys trying to get the big guy. They are down there, that is for sure. I think the challenge today is going to be to get the big ones. So I'm looking forward to keeping a few of the bigger ones. There we go. That's probably the biggest one so far today. And just fishing, looking for a blowfish today. There's been a lot of puffer fish around. Puffer fish, blowfish, whatever you like to call them. So I decided to head out today and see if we can get a few. And I think we already did. All right, the bait we're using today, I'm gonna use both. I got some whole squid and some clam and I'm just gonna cut everything up into small pieces, tentacles small not really cubes but probably small rectangles wow that was too quick we got blowfish today and that's what we're fishing for double header maybe there'll be big ones That was my first drop. Got clam and squid here. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's get that tentacle. The ocean was kind of rough and uh, lately. So I decided to come here and play with these here blowfish and see if we can get some, like I said, bigger ones. Wow, that might be a bigger one. Oh, that's a double header. That's going to be the truck trick. Getting through these little guys to get the big ones. But this is certainly fun fishing. My pliers. Let's see. Get me hook out. And get him on his way. Ooh, he's hooked good. There we go. Yeah, you can keep him. That's a big kingfish. Yeah, that'll make a nice... That's a big kingfish. You can keep him. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. you Good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's a little bit bigger. And today the trick is going to be getting some big guys. Let's see. We'll get you on your way. Ooh. Ooh. They got some good teeth. Oh, there we go. I said this is just the sea floor is just filled with these probably some big big weak fish around double headers and how sweet okay he's hooked good just around the side right either there we go that was a big piece of bait too it feels like something different and it is. Check that out. We got sea bass today too. Sea bass in the mix. These guys got to be 19 inches or something to keep. I don't remember. Looks like he was caught before. That might have been for me. That's wild. Really fun day. Lots of stuff out there. And they're still biting. Oh boy. We got a kingfish. Maybe they'll be around. I'm going to let him go. 
but I actually took a cast way out. And if I get another, I'm going to keep a few of these guys because I was looking to get some bigger blowfish. If we can get a bunch of them, man, I'm all in. So I'm specifically looking for these here blowfish or puffer fish. So last night I went through my hooks and I thought the best hook to use for them, small or big, it's going to be, I picked out, this is a number 10 emerger hook. It's actually, I use these for fly tying, but I thought they'd be perfect on the day. And I'm just high-low rigging with that, and I'll show you that too. Fishing for a blowfish today, puffer fish. And the sea floor is just littered with them, literally littered with them. And I don't know what tide they're on. I just came out fishing. Probably the way they are out there, both sides of the tide. I've heard people talking about having their gulps chewed up. So these guys are just like all over. I don't think it matters where we drop our line. I'm sure we'll get one. See, that was a double. And this is just really fun. Oh, he ate that, I think. I'm just going to click that and tie him over. Should rust out. We're looking for the big guys. So the trick today is going to be getting the big ones. If there are any, I can see some bigger ones around. Oh, we ate that pretty deep. I'm just going to clip that and retie. It'll be okay. Just as long as you don't put pressure on it. That's how I'm cutting my bait. And you can go, probably should go smaller, but I don't mind it being a little bigger. But kind of like small rectangles, some bigger, some smaller. And you can keep some big ones if some other flukes come around. Like I said, we got clam and we got fresh squid. The tentacles are great. All right, they keep on coming in. This is probably great family fishing, that's for sure. Just uh, really, there's one. And drop her down. One thing I did notice is they're lying right along the pier. I think, oh, that was a double. That's a little bit bigger one. Probably you can get all you want out here. Oh, but they seem to be lined up along the pier. I think if you cast out, you're not gonna get as many heads. Yeah, there's another double. Hmm. Now if you play it right, you can catch these things all day long. We'll find out. The tide's going to be changing. So I, I got other things that I want to do later, so... If you're looking to catch some of these here blowfish or puffer fish, whatever you want to call them, uh, the rod and reels I'm using, one is a spinning outfit, and uh, it's a Mitchell 410, and this is uh, just a seven foot spinning rod, obviously, 10 pound monofilament. Um, you can use any rod, really, for this kind of drop down fishing. So I brought a couple of rods, because I might do some stuff later. I got that. I throw some bucktails with that. Um, actually my preferred setup for this kind of fishing is this, that's my Penn Sea Boy, did a video with it, and uh, great 
for drop down, cast and whatnot. A little heavier monofilament. I don't want to fish for anything else. But that really is just perfect. Like I said, you can use anything you want. Conventional spinning reels for these here puffer or blowfish. And uh, you're going to get them right next to the pier. And I just kind of bounce my sinker. There we go. Give it some slack. And lift up. That little bit of slack in your line lets them kind of grab it and then you lift up and they're they're hooked up. This is just these guys are just all over. We might have some kingfish out there now. Oh wow! That was a surprise. Ooh. Check that out. These here hooks, they're almost like a 3x hook. So they'll hold bigger fish as well. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, kingfish. All right, something different. Maybe we'll keep a bunch of these if there's a ton out, but. We oh, yeah, have fluke. Hey, take care, guys. Let me show you the rig here that I've been using. And probably one hook is ample. But I'm using a, a high-low rig. And there's the hooks I talked about. This is a 20-pound mono. Um, it's actually good for them. And uh, But the rig itself, I just do two rings. Monofilament line is really what you want to be using, just because you can retie quicker. But that's just a surgeon's loop. I cut it and tie on a hook. Then about a foot down, you can go up to one to two feet. Surgeon knot, tie on my hook, and then my sinker on the bottom. And you can use anything to get you down on the bottom. Now, getting double header after double header. That's just wild. I might, if I lose a hook, I might just start fishing with one hook. And uh, these here the merger hooks are great for just any kind of bait fishing. Oh, it's a double. Hey, look, I got getting a little bigger. Maybe the change in water some big ones. I'm sure you could make a nice meal if you filled up a bucket of these. But they're too cute. Maybe we get a big ugly one we'll keep them. Usually being big and ugly keeps you safe, but not if you're a fish. Get the hook. Hook out. Maybe we can shake it. In our, that head. There we go. One thing to you keep your eye on, they have some pretty big teeth. And you can see there, they kind of scuff up your monofilament line. So eventually you're going to rip that hook off. So when you tie your hook on, you can make that a little longer so you can get a few hook ties up the line. You just keep an eye on that if there's big fish around because you're going to break right off to get that fluke and that's all chewed up. So something to keep in mind. I said you find that most of them are right next to the pier inside that shadow. If you're looking to get a bunch of them like we did today, I'm going to fish until this battery dies out and then I'm going to do some other things. So I was going to start fishing for some other things and see that big old kingfish. I'm going to be throwing bait for a little bit more. This is something different. Oh boy, it's a sea bass. Another sea bass. Nice shore size sea bass too. All right. I could not tell you how many blowfish I had today, but there was a lot. I mean, I would say definitely over 50. I was working, there he is. 
I was working the high low rig and then I went down just to the single hook beautiful creatures really fun don't do this much Ooh, like a boob spine um, but I'm getting out of here uh, lots of lots of blowfish puffer fish kingfish and that fluke and that so that guy had a big kingfish I haven't seen one like that in a while but really fun fishing today I'm gonna fish a little more I'm gonna try something else but uh Thanks for watching.